Thanks for checking out the third episode of Should You Read. And this is Should You Read Scott Pilgrim. Uh, this is available on Comixology through their unlimited service. Also, you can just purchase it if you want to purchase it. Um, so, off the bat, so if people want to turn this video off <laughs> right after seeing my recommendation, you can go ahead and do it. Should you read Scott Pilgrim? Yes. Yes is what I would say, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. I'll give my star rating at the end. Scott Pilgrim. Uh, obviously, there was a movie uh, made f about it, so the writing had to be good enough to get the attention of people who wanted to make a movie out of it. Uh, and that one's called uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, the actual series of comics is just called Scott Pilgrim. One major minus to, Sp to Scott Pilgrim for me was the art style. The art style is very, very simplistic. It's not very highbrow. It's very simple, almost childlike artwork. But it works for the story because the story is very... Uh, it's got a lot of dry humor to it, and the story's goofy. Uh, it's about a kind of dorky-ish uh, guy's life, and his love life in particular. And it kind of fits for that reason. It's okay. I don't need it to be like super sophisticated, super crisp, super clean. So I saw that immediately. I was like, oh, this artwork's not really what I wanted it to be. But then as I kept reading, I was just like, you know what, I'm totally over this after like the first few pages. And it kind of fits with the story, so that was fine. I am cool with that. So that said, uh, you gotta like the dry humor. Um, you have to like the characters. The characters are really well put together. Um, they're all funny. I, like Every character adds a certain element of comedy to it. So if you like comedic comics and there's pretty much nothing really serious in it, you're, you're okay. Uh, the other thing is it kind of does this blend where it's like real life meets fake life, like video game-ish fake life. Um, so you have to be okay with everything seeming realistic like it could happen and then having this odd element kind of jump in and throw you off a little bit. It seemed super weird when it first did that. It was just like, normal story, normal story. Like, oh, this is funny, and this could happen in real life. Maybe it's someone's actual real-life story. And then they throw in this weird, like, video game-style element. And I was like, that's kind of out of nowhere. But then as it, they kept going with it, I'm like, I dig it. I like it. It's cool. But it's very endearing. The story is really interesting. It's a very endearing story. Uh, it's, it's interesting enough to keep you reading. Uh, I've been through the first two volumes, because that's what they'll allow through... Comicsology Unlimited, and I really like it. Um, debating whether I would purchase it or not, just because I have seen the movie, therefore I know the full story, but I don't, I mean, there's a lot of extra stuff in the comic that obviously was not in the movie, so that's why I'm kind of like torn on it. I'm like, oh, I kind of want to see what else is, was missing from the movie, and... Uh, but all that said, I also think that the movie was pretty faithful to the comics, I mean, as much as they really could, and I think that their choice of actors and actresses that they chose was really good for how the characters were written in the comic itself. I feel like that's pretty much all I have to say about Scott Pilgrim. I enjoyed it. It's nice. So if you're totally cool with what you heard, you can handle a lot of comedy, you're not super snobby about your artwork, you can get past, you know, more simplistic art styles then this could very well be for you. Um, so that said, should you read Scott Pilgrim? In my opinion, yes, you should, and I think that should apply to pretty much everyone because everyone likes to laugh here and there, even if it's not out loud, internally at least. <laughs> so uh, in, in the star ratings that they do on Comixology out of five stars, they gave it four stars. Um, not like the most phenomenal comic I've ever re read, but quite good, very good, enough to keep me going back. And I'm even contemplating if I want to purchase. So, at any rate, thank you everyone for checking this out. If you have ideas about comics you want to hear me do a review for, or see me do a review for, you can, you know, you don't have to actually look at me when you're listening to these. You can look away because I'm just kind of sitting here with my movies behind me and stuff. Um, you can send it to brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. You can also send movie and TV uh, suggestions because I might do those as well. Anyway, uh, once again, BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. Brutal spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L. Until next time, 
well, please keep watching these videos and let me know what you think. That's another thing. But until next time, keep it 